Once again to Texas Financial Advisory with Brooklyn Chandler Willie and Yvette Villanueva Berrera. I'm your host, Mike Spangle. How are you both doing today? That was so good. Oh, thank you. I really <laughs> leaned into that one. Oh, you did. I, I really enjoyed it. Brooklyn, how are you this week? I'm doing great, Spike. <laughs> Fantastic. I think you should try and roll the L's or something yeah. in my name. Like, yeah. Well, yay. Yeah, yeah we, like, okay, go. all right. We'll, we'll do a, I'll do a little bit more color on your name okay, for our next on. program. I, I know, I know, because it really, it started out as your firm. Yeah, yeah, but I've got a whole team, which I'm very thankful Correct. for. You know what? Let's talk a little bit about that. We're going to be talking yes. about everything retirement planning today and how retirement has changed today as how it was 20 or 30 years ago. But before we get to that, it isn't just the two of you there because as financial planners here in Texas, there's so many different things you cover. Tell me a little bit about the team at home. So we have multiple advisors at Texas Financial Advisory. You can always go to our website, texasfinancialadvisory.com. Um, now, Yvette and I go back yeah. quite a bit. Uh, we actually met in high school. Oh, and, wow. You know, like last so week a couple we years graduated. Ago, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we nice. would have graduated in 2020, but COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But anyhow, <laughs> so we've known each other a very long time. Um, and so I started this company back in January 2008 and uh, was, you know, somewhat oh, of a wonderful ranger. time to start a financial firm, <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. And, and really, uh, I was blessed in the fact that I've, I have a radio show, we've been on the air for over 10 years and, you know, got a lot of great clients through that. And as I was growing, I needed someone I could trust. And so Yvette was one of the first advisors that came on and, you know, again, knowing her, growing up with her, just, there was obviously that common bond there, but she's also brings things to the tables that, that I just don't have the bandwidth to do, right? Well, I we all have different capacities yeah. and in different yeah. roles. And so that's been really cool to see with all the different advisors that we've brought into our practice. And, you know, we have a you know, tax aspect. And so those folks are just geared towards, you know, number crunching tax planning and then we have the estate planning and those folks are putting together the the wills the trusts the you know the different directives advanced directives or even more advanced business planning llc's partnerships family partnerships those types of things so it's not just wealth management it's all of these things together. And you're almost kind of throwing that and say, it's not just the wealth management, I mean, that's complex in itself. It so you're watching the investments for folks as they get through retirement, then also estate planning, then also helping out with their taxes and not just tax preparing for this year, but preparation for down the road. And one more hat that you wear as well, along with being a financial advisor, is also helping people navigate Medicare as well. Yeah. Um it's how I got started in the business was helping people navigate Medicare, which I'm really thankful for because now my parents have gotten to that age. So, you know, I've been able to guide them through that process. So um, it's it's I'm really passionate about yes. Medicare. <laughs> well, I wanted to ask you both, Brooklyn, I'll start with you. We understand that retirement today is different than it used to be. Um, I think there are many different factors. Maybe you both can illuminate some of them. One of them I start to think about is longevity. How is longevity different than it was 30 years ago? Well, we joke and we say that, you know, 70 is the new 50. <laughs> and that <laughs> okay. people are living longer, they're working longer, but, you know, they're taking better care of themselves. And so, you know, all these are benefits, but that also means that in retirement, that money has to stretch longer. and. In reality, if you think about your working years, you know, you've you've raised a family, you've tried to put money away and set it aside, and you've worked, you know, 20, 25, 30 years, and then now you go into retirement. And sometimes retirement is actually longer than the years that you spent yeah. saving. So we've got to make sure that nest egg you know, stretches out. It's like the story in the Bible, the fish and loaves. Like we've got to multiply that mm. and be able to make sure that we, you know, provide for each month that you're alive, that you're going to have that income piece. And then also, you know, it gets more complex. The more money we have, the more complications. We look at tax planning, all these things come right. in together. Yvette, let me ask you, do, do we get healthier 
as we go deeper into retirement? You know, I think <laughs> I've seen this trend where our clients are more conscious about taking care of themselves, mm -hmm. you know, but there's, you know, there's just aging that we deal with that you can't help, you know, besides trying to eat and stretch. Uh, but, yeah. you know, we don't typically get healthier you know it's all about maintaining and that's part of our goal because once you get to that point where your health really starts to decline where's the plan going to come in where mm -hmm. what are your options for how you're going to take care of um aging you know it just because you get unhealthy doesn't mean you're going to die because you can't right it, so in fact we're, <laughs> we're living longer and we might not even be able to take care of ourselves so i think one of the things that has really changed in, in retirement today is that we have to address long-term care and long-term care needs. And I think it's quite expensive out of our own pockets. And those things are not covered by Medicare. I think a lot of people think that, oh, well, I'm now 65, I get on Medicare, it's all covered. <sighs> no, it, it's not. Big and misconception. And so, you know, as far as your, your just day-to-day -day insurance, you, you might need a supplement, and that's something that you know, vet helps, and she has a team that helps put that together for for clients to compare, you know, to cover those out of cost or out of pocket expenses. But then we talk even you know bigger picture here as if you had a catastrophic illness or something that you know again you. I mean, dementia yeah, has been dementia. another thing. It's the chronic thing. diseases that we're worried about. Yeah, the right, dementia, right. The Alzheimer's, well, you're physically, Parkinson's. You're still, we're still here. You're still with yeah, us. But right. cognitively, you're not. And and now it's the burden of the caregiver to you know be able to provide and watch over. And some of those folks need 24-hour care, which can be very expensive. Right, yeah. and this isn't just something that happens in your 90s, uh, Bruce Willis, uh, yeah. it was just yeah. announced. So this is something that can happen in our 60s and our 70s, even earlier than that. And think how it will deplete your own nest egg, not just for yourself, for the person who needs the care, but then for possibly your spouse or partner. Now they're gonna have less to live on deeper into retirement. Yeah, you know, I think we've seen a trend too with uh, clients whose their parents are in their 90s, you know, their parents have been on hospice care for like two or three years because oh, wow. they are just not, you know, they're living. We take so much medication and it, we just don't die, you know, quickly. <laughs> well, I mean, we die, but we just, you just don't, right, you know, right. die because you have a chronic illness. I mean, they're, you're staying alive for a long time and it's, how do we But Medicare that? doesn't cover Medicare it. Medicare doesn't cover and, it. And uh, long-term care covers you at a certain point, but even the choices of care, just so just on an average, what, what are some of the monthly costs to have a private room here in Texas? Uh, on uh, average, I mean, and again, this is, we're in 2022, going into 2023. If you are needing in-home care, you know, you're looking at around eight to $10,000 a month. Um, if you're in a facility, maybe six to $8,000, um, and you know, that's out of pocket. Especially so. for memory care, you know, Alzheimer's, those kinds of facilities are a lot more expensive than if you just can't live by yourself anymore. Right, right. You know, so. So I know that you do the Texas Financial Roadmap for folks. Uh, we're talking today about how retirement is different than it was 30 years ago. How does the roadmap help you address longevity and things in retirement? So if you're watching our show today, we've talked a little bit about this TFA Financial Roadmap, and you may be wondering, what is this? Like, show me what it is. And it is very, it's hard to do that because it's not a cookie cutter report. We can't just hand it out. It's something that we put together with you um, as a team in order to provide you a roadmap that you can see, hey, based upon what I've saved, um, I've saved enough, or maybe I need to save a little bit more, and here's where my cash flow is gonna be. Here's some tax strategies that I can do to be able to have more tax efficiency in my accounts. Um, and what if I get older and I need extra help around the house? How are we gonna cover that? Where's that extra money gonna come from? Do I need to buy long-term care insurance? Do I need a self-fund? Is there anything outside the box that we can do in order to not waste money or unnecessarily buy something that I don't need? Um, so all that comes into play, but it, the key here is that it's customized for you. So unless you give us a call, we can't really give that over to you. Now, 
peace of mind here, there is no cost for that consultation. Give us a call today, 844-832-7289. You can always visit our website, texasfinancialadvisory.com. A lot of great information from there. You can also book your consultation straight from our website, texasfinancialadvisory.com. We're going to be back right after this short break about why retirement today is so different than it was 20 or 30 years ago. More Texas Financial Advisory right after this. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only. To set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. That we're giving away complimentary to the first 10 people who respond. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you want to go, and who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review today. Welcome back to Texas Financial Advisory with Brooklyn and Yvette. I'm your host, Spike, and we're talking about how retirement today is so much different than it was a few decades ago. I start to think of the things that erode away at your life savings, that nest egg. Uh, you were just talking about medical issues. Uh, clearly, we can all see inflation today, uh, over 8.5%, 6% last year. Who knows where it's going to be this year? Uh, are those the biggest risks to retirement savings today, or am I missing something? You know, Social Security is another one. Oh, you know, yeah. back in well, 2008, yeah. you know, 8, 9, we didn't get a cost of living adjustment. And I remember meeting with people, and they were so outraged that they weren't getting a cost of living adjustment. Yeah. You know, but even now that they got a cost of living adjustment, guess yeah. what? Your Medicare premiums are higher. Mm -hmm. So people are complaining that, you know, I'm not really getting more in Social Security because I'm having to pay more for our Medicare. Right. Is Social, Social Security, Security, is it just as stable as it was 20 or 30 years ago? <laughs> well, again, it's a broken system. Um, it It's got to get fixed. And so if you're on Social Security, obviously, it's fine. If you're, I mean, I used to say if you're in your 50s, Social Security would be there for you. I, I don't know. I mean, it's going to be there in one shape or fashion. But if you think about why Social Security was actually put together, right, back whenever Social Security was started, so, people, 1935 yeah. is when it went in. I think 19, I believe I had to study for the exams. 35 and I think 36 is when it was implemented. Yeah, and what and was life expectancy back then, guys? <laughs> I don't know, 66. 48? 66. <laughs> but yeah, it was much shorter. Yeah. So Social Security was always meant to be a one or two year yeah. help assistance. Not for 30 was, years. Yeah. So that's why, right? And we have less people working to support the baby boomers that are retiring and so on and so forth. So this is just a vicious cycle. But the key here is that it still exists and there are strategies for Social Security. And so, you know, we've invested a lot in technology because I feel like the marriage between real life human beings and technology brings the best to the table for the clients. And so we have the software that we can run different illustration what, what ifs on when and how to draw Social Security. There is actually, you know, one of those financial you know, spokespeople out there that used to like tell people you spend every dollar that you've personally saved <laughs> oh, and then I've heard this go one. on Social Security. Which, what? which you're crazy. not, you're saying not. To How would, why would you do that? Like, because when you pass away, there's no refund on Social Security. You can't leave that behind. Right. So, I mean, we want to maximize your Social Security, especially if you are going to be on it for 20, 30. Right. 
some odd years. I'm sorry, I've got to follow you on something here. So both of you are licensed to be financial advisors. You have to give advice in a very specific way. It's got to be individualized for a person. We can't just go out giving investment advice right now to the camera to millions of people who can be watching this program. What is, there are some crazy folks out there that you will see giving all kinds of advice out there. Why are they able to say this stuff? <laughs> so there are financial entertainers, right? We're not a financial entertainers. Yeah. I've never heard that <laughs> one. I love we that. We may be entertaining, but <laughs> we're not. We're not financial entertainers. entertainers. Yeah. You um, are actual financial planners with a practice license to do so. Exactly. Correct. So these these folks that you might watch on TV or are are listening to on the radio show, you know, they don't have any skin in the game because they aren't licensed or, you know, again, they they're not abiding by the rules and the principles that we do in order to, you know, uphold those licenses. So they got to say whatever they want, which seems kind of counterintuitive. Yeah, so because like of the way you're registered. Talking yeah. about like brain surgery, I'm not a doctor, but yeah. I'm not a doctor, but let me just talk about how to do brain yeah. surgery, right? That's that I mean, is crazy, and so so be careful of getting. We'll say be careful of getting TV advice. Yeah. But that's exactly <laughs> what we do right here. But I, that's what I want to let people yeah. know is that you actually have a firm behind you, you have licenses behind you, and you give advice individualized. So in fact, that's what the Texas Financial Advisory Roadmap is about. Yes, we can talk about the kinds of elements and things that you look at. But to actually implement it, it's best for you to meet people, right? And be able to talk about their individual situation. Yeah, most definitely. And, and again, we are carrying the tote of, for these clients that, you know, they're trusting us, right? They're coming in, they've worked all their lives, and they're saying, here it is, help me put it together and make it last, right? And so we are going from there. We represent those clients as fiduciaries. So it's our responsibility. We're not just like telling them to go pick some, you know, investment vehicle that's going to pay them 12% or something, right? I mean, that's not the responsibility. It's our responsibility as their advisor to help put together, first and foremost, the plan, then look at the different options out there, whether it's on the Wall Street side or the insurance side, the alternative side, to be able to put everything together for them to fit their personal needs. Right. It's not cookie cutter, it's not one size fits all. And you're not selling this plan per se, you're putting together a plan and then you're doing follow up year after year, month after month in fact, if they need it. Yeah, right? life happens, uh, you know, unfortunately. Good things uh, and bad things. Yeah, good good and bad things. Mortality is 100% still. So, I think we'll so. Check. Yeah. We'll check. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, sometimes uh, clients have to start taking care of their grown children. You know, how do we pivot in yeah. those plans so that they can do so? You know, at the end of the day, we're, we're mothers. We look at our clients and we want to make sure that their families are taken care of because that's the most important thing that that we can do, right. you know, is we want to make sure that when life does hit us hard, we're okay. Our right. clients are okay, you know. So complimentary for the viewers of your program and for those who would like to participate in your firm, whether they're ready for a retirement or not, they can do the financial roadmap. Tell folks what they can get when they call in for you here. So if you're watching our show today and you're kind of just like, what, what is this all about? Um, really, it's an opportunity to discuss your personal situation with a real live advisor here at Texas Financial Advisory. We sit down and we walk through your goals, your needs, um, what you've saved, what you might have a deficit, what you might need to save. All these things come together into what we call your TFA financial roadmap. And that roadmap is going to help you get to and through retirement. So if you'd like the opportunity to sit down with one of the advisors or have a conversation with them, give us a call right now, 844-832-7289, 844-832-7289. As always, you can visit the website, texasfinancialadvisory.com. A lot of great information on that website. We try and give you as much information as possible without totally overwhelming you texasfinancialadvisory.com and you can book your consultation from there as well, texasfinancialadvisory.com. Three out of four Americans don't have their own written financial plan. Don't go into retirement without your own retirement strategy. Call right here for Texas Financial Advisory and get your own roadmap through retirement. 844-832-7289. More with Brooklyn and Yvette right after this break. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. 
Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. Welcome back to Texas Financial Advisory with Brooklyn and Yvette. They are financial advisors right here in Texas, and we're talking about how retirement today is completely different than it was two or three decades ago. In fact, when you're helping people prepare for retirement, uh, it's probably scary jumping off that cliff of no longer bringing in income. Do you ever get people who turn back and say, uh, I'm not ready, or I, I want to keep working, or I'd like to be active? Yeah, I, I think people, I mean, it's very scary to take that leap, but we always tell clients, you know, just have a plan of what you're gonna do with your time because quite often, especially men, you know, they've been the breadwinners, they've been doing something, and the wife's like, please make sure he has something to do because we might kill each other, you know? Like, he needs his uh, he shed in the back so that he can fiddle around, you know, do whatever he wants to do. But it's really, you know, it, it might be going back to work. Maybe they like to go to Home Depot or do something fun, but um, just having a plan to do with their time. You know, it's not always traveling that a client wants to do. A right. lot of military, retired military guys, they really don't want to travel. They travel their career. They travel the world. They, they yeah. did and their they, adventure. Yes, and they want to stay home stay with their families the and so forth. The yard. So that, that's a whole other aspect, though, of being 50s and 60s. It's something called the gig economy today. And by gig, we're meaning uh, you, know, you work at a job for two or three weeks and you, you perform the gig and then you're done with it. Is this a way for retirees to stay active? Yeah, and again, there's a mental component to retirement. You know, you can work really hard and have the financial component, right? You've done the savings, but you also have to be mentally ready to let go and you have to have a routine in place right you don't want to just you know sleep all the time be in the recliner or what have you because <laughs> that leads into you're probably gonna have health issues and it's just kind of a vicious cycle but I mean it has been really interesting to see how there's been all these opportunities come out of you know whether technology COVID I don't know mm -hmm. that people are able to we've got some clients that drive uber because Hey, they got the time. Yeah. You know, like, and might as well get, get paid. You get to talk to people, talk to right? People, yeah. You know, and, you know, they're just, it's better than sitting around. And they can log in, log out. And, you know, so the gig economy has been kind of fun to see the different adventures that, that people have I done. I mean, we have a client that uh, he doesn't want to pay anybody to cut his yard. And so the, the gentlemen that live across the street, they're older, they want to pay somebody. He's like, no, I'll, I'll cut your yard. So they pay him to cut their, his, their yard. So he's cutting like <laughs> his right. old neighbor's yard. <laughs> All right, we, have a, we have some folks that, uh, some gentlemen that love playing golf. Right? So they've worked out this, this deal and they're, they're all really, they were really successful like in their careers and it's not that they don't have the money they've worked out these deals with with golf courses that they work for free up at the golf course to get free, free rounds golf. of golf <laughs> i mean that's pretty cool so, so volunteer, volunteering volunteering at their golf the golf course yes. yes but there's also all kinds of volunteering there there are schools that need help yes. right now and uh, communities and parks or your church or whatever it might be the there's all different kinds give, of ways the more you receive right exactly yeah. exactly you, you know one of the the cool things I think I've seen recently too is a lot of grandfathers 
are now being uh, going to pick up their grandkids. They're like, I'm, what are you going to do today? do today? Yeah. And they're like, I got to go pick up my grandchild from from school to help my my son and daughter. And I'm like, that is so that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. The time that they get with their grandchildren, like you can't buy that, you know. Right. And right. It's so awesome to see. Exactly. And I think that's a big, huge way how retirement is different yeah. today than it was before. You know, my my grandfathers would have come yeah. and picked yeah. up. They they were into their <laughs> retirement. They were done with that kind of stuff. But I think you were joking before that uh, today, what is it, 70? Or is the new 50? Is the new yeah. 50. Well, so we become 70. Well, then that makes us still back in the 20s. That's yeah, why we'll we just be 20s. from high school. <laughs> we'll exactly, be in our 20s. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but uh, it's so different today. Anything we're leaving off the table, because I know that we need to think about how much longer we're going to live, making sure that we're taking into account inflation, lifestyle, and choices, whether it's through volunteering or contract work. What else would you like to say to folks about how retirement is different today than it was a while ago. Well, the key thing here is that retirement is taking care of yourself. There's not necessarily a company taking care of you. So if you're watching our show today, you know, again, you're trying to put all this together and you're doing it on your own. Here at Texas Financial Advisory, we work directly for clients and we help put together what we call your TFA Financial Roadmap. And this roadmap is a way to guide you to and through retirement. So whether you're, say, in your early 40s or you're five years out for retirement, or you're already retired, we're able to structure that around your current needs and look at your income planning, um, your risk tolerance, how much risk you want to take within your portfolios, uh, any sort of tax saving ability within those retirement accounts. Is there a way to create some tax efficiency? We'll also look at the estate planning aspects so that whenever you do pass away, that your assets go to your, your loved ones in a, a tax efficient, streamlined way that it's not tied up, the accounts aren't frozen, so on and so forth. So all of that is part of your TFA financial roadmap. If you'd like that opportunity, there is no cost for this consultation and there's no obligation to work with us. It's just to have a conversation. The number here is 844-832-7289. You can also visit our website, texasfinancialadvisory.com. A lot of great information and book your consultation from there, texasfinancialadvisory.com. And I just wanted to be clear again for all of the viewers out there, you're not just financial entertainers. No. no. You actually <laughs> do this Believe in it or your not. Offices yeah. <laughs> all of the time, and you take care of everything from investment management strategy to putting together tax strategy and, and tax planning. You actually have a, a legal arm of your firm as well that can help with all of that and putting it together. And that's all part of the Texas Financial Advisory Roadmap. Comprehensive and holistic. Well, thank you so much for both of your time today. We're going to have to take off from today's program. We'll be back again next week. Thank you so much for watching the program. As Brooklyn was saying, take advantage of the Texas Financial Advisory Roadmap. 844-832-7289 is the phone number for you to call. It is absolutely complimentary, no obligation. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again next week.